Together, let's draw the Lewis structure of sodium phosphide Na3P. Na is on the far left of the periodic table. Anything to the left of this staircase here, where my Sharpie marker is, is generally a metal. Uh, Hydrogen is the only exception. Sodium is definitely an alkali metal, though. And phosphorus is a non-metal because it comes from the right-hand side of the staircase. When metals and non-metals get together, they form ionic compounds. The metals give their electrons away to the non-metals. I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a second. Na is in group 1. That means it brings one valence electron with it. So I'm going to draw Na and put one dot there for the one valence electron. Phosphorus is in group 15. That 5 is what tells me it brings five valence electrons with it. One, two, three, four, five. Notice I spread them out northeast, southwest before I started doubling them up. Now, non-metals satisfy the octet rule. They want a full outer shell of eight electrons. Phosphorus here only has five. It needs three more. Where is it going to get them from? Metals will gladly give up their electrons. So this sodium atom gives its electron away to phosphorus. Now phosphorus has six. It needs eight. Where is it going to get two more? Well, another sodium atom can come along and donate its electron, but now phosphorus has seven, which still isn't enough. How about a third sodium? Bring that in. Now phosphorus has eight. That's stable. So let's see what we have in total. We've got a phosphorus with eight valence electrons. I'm going to put those eight dots around it, and to represent that it's three more than it started with, I'm going to give it a minus three charge. Now I'm going to have to draw my three sodiums, but they gave away their electrons. So I'm going to draw Na with no dots around it and a plus one charge. That plus one represents the fact that it lost an electron. But we're actually going to need three of those. So here's my second one. And I'm just going to put my third one down here. I like to spread them around. This is my personal preferred Lewis structure for sodium phosphide. The little phosphorus with a minus three charge is in the center and three NAs around it. P.S. The fact that you needed three NAs to satisfy the full outer shell requirement here is why the formula is Na3P. You might be able to take a shortcut, writing three times that Na with a plus one charge if you don't want to write it out three times, and you still have to show people the phosphorus, otherwise they'll be confused and think you just have three plus one Na's. Here we go. This could be your shortcut. I don't know. I prefer this myself. Either of these are valid Lewis structures, though, for sodium phosphide. Thanks for being here with me, and best of luck.